Happy Sabbath, dear viewer, and good evening, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you're watching from. We come to you from Central Church here in Nairobi, and I'm Pastor Stephen Tirop. Um, this time, I want to request you as we pray on this Sabbath, during this season of 40 days of prayer. And my text today is from the book of Luke, chapter 11 and verse 1. But I am having emphasis from verse 10 through verse 13. This is, the context is where Jesus had been praying a whole night. And when his disciples realized and observed how Jesus interacted, conversed, and prayed, they also asked Jesus to teach them how to pray. And that is where Jesus takes them through the Lord's Prayer. Our, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. And so forth. And then at the end he says, for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. And so teaching them how to pray, Jesus moved from that and ask that when you pray, you must be persistent. For who has a friend and he has a need? And then when a visitor comes, even if it is in the middle of the night, and knowing that the friend have some food left in his house, will he not get up and go and knock and ask and even if the friend seems to be sleeping, he would continue to knock. And that is where now we have this text, um, which the Holy Spirit would like us to have today. In verse 11, it says, What father among you, if his son asks for bread, will give him a stone, or if he asks for a fish, will instead of a fish give him a serpent, or if he asks for an egg, will give him a scorpion. If you then, who are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will the Heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him. My friend, my dear viewer, we are in, a season, in the season of prayer. We have seen what the word of God can do in our life. We have seen what righteousness means for us. We have worked together to see how the Holy Spirit can work miracles overruling our lives, filling us with the divine nature, imparting the very fruit of the Holy Spirit in our life. And with this desire is indeed time for us. Just as Jesus challenged his disciples, that they do not only pray for their daily bread, but above this physical and our raw needs here on earth, that they remember to ask the Father for the Holy Spirit. And so he has challenged us with this, this parable, this, this story about a friend knocking in the friend's door until he gets bread for the visitor who has come. 
or a father who has son has asked. And so he's saying our heavenly father is ready to give us the Holy Spirit when we ask. Friend, with these motivations that Jesus gave, my heart is drawn to ask for more feeling of the Holy Spirit. I request you to consider making this a priority prayer item in your life. Because without the Holy Spirit, our mission, all the activities we engage in, in the name of serving God, may not be done to the expectation of heaven. And when we ask for the Holy Spirit to come in, he will overrule, he will transform our ministries, he will bless our lives, he will fill us with the wisdom and the fruit of the Holy Spirit, preparing us to serve here on earth and to be invited in the glories that awaits the faithful. So that like we read in the book of Matthew, says, I was thirsty, I was naked, I was in hospital, and you visited me. And the same may ask, when did we do this? Because we are not doing the things we are doing when we are filled with the Holy Spirit for our own good. And so I ask you that we may ask and pray and ask the Holy Spirit above all else this Sabbath. I invite you, brother and sister, my friend, wherever you are, that we may join in prayer items that we have above all for the infilling of the Holy Spirit, for 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 being ready to be used in the ministry and praying that the Lord may transform and use as many as are ready in reaching the ends of this war. May we be ready. I invite you to pray with me. Let's pray. Kind and loving Father, we thank you for this Sabbath. We thank you for your mercies and goodness. We thank you for the 40 days and the initiative as you move the leadership of the church that we in the whole world will be engaged in prayer. As the period of session is ongoing, as leaders are chosen, and as reports are received, as decisions are made, Father, may you lead in every facet of your work here on earth. May the Holy Spirit take charge of the leaders, the new leaders who will be elected, and those who will continue serving in the departments, in the ministries that they have been serving. Use them, O oh Lord. And we and my viewer, I pray, O oh Lord, that you may fill us with the Holy Spirit because you have challenged us that above our physical needs, we may ask and seek first the kingdom and all these things shall be added unto us. O oh, Heavenly Father, may we experience your presence the outpouring of the Holy Spirit upon every area of our life, in our families, in our workplace, in our personal work with you. That, Father, you may come and say, welcome and inherit the glory that has, was prepared from the foundation of the world for those who love the Lord. We love you, Lord, and we have asked you as our Father to give us the Holy Spirit. Fill my viewer, fill my listener, 
Fill my brother and sister. Fill me and use me as your minister. Bless us here in Central Church, the entire membership, wherever they are. And in all this time that is remaining for us to minister and to serve, may you use us mightily. Accept our prayer and ministry, O oh Lord, even our worship and fellowship this Sabbath. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Dear viewer, I want to thank you for being part and listening and being an audience. Share this video. Ask friends to follow so that as we close, as we come to the close of these 40 days, we may benefit for being part and parcel of the whole world participating in prayer for these 40 days. I welcome you to join every uh, prayer group, wherever fellowship is. May you enjoy your Sabbath. God bless and be with you. We look forward to meeting and to interacting again in this channel. May God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Bye. Happy Sabbath.